Hey guys, welcome back to Tamiya Legends and once again, thank you for stopping by. So, massive shout out to um, Jeremy, the um, Riri full Subaru body kit has turned up um, and I'm over the moon with this. Obviously we've got the original Subaru Brat chassis back there which we've done, we've restored. So it was just waiting for this shell. So I've had this about a week and um, obviously hard body and I just sat it on the chassis. Um, but I was kind of thinking, with it being a hard body, because I might as well get it built up, just finish a body built without painting it to get it on there, because I still don't know what this is going to look like finished. It's it's either going to be box art and red, or I'm going to do the Tammy Legends car. So I've been speaking to um, MCID Cal's, and he can do it, do it in the colours I want and what have you. Um, but I'm also getting some Tammy Legends decals made for the Facebook group at the same time. So I'm going to get that out of the way first um, and then we'll sort of worry about this at a later date. So that's why, because it's going to be sat on the shelf for so long, I want to um, I want to get this shelf finished um, with the grills, the roll bars, windows, driver in and, and all that stuff. Um, and we'll get it fitted to the chassis and um, with the body clips. Because as I say, this is this is one of those cars that takes me right back to the eighties. Um, th there's a few cars that do that. Subaru Brat is definitely one of them. I don't know what it is. It's that it's the ability to pick it up by the roll bar, the full car. I might sound really nerdy, but it's such a cool thing to do. Um, yeah, I don't really know what I mean by that. It's just it's obviously memories that are back here from back in the day that, that come out when I see this. So, um, as I say, we've got the shell, windscreen, obviously I think the original came with clear, um, but I'm really not that bothered. Then we've got the driver unit, rear tail gate, front grille, driver's um, face. What else we got? And we've got the front bumper that attaches to the grille, then the roll bar. Um, and then we've got some um, nuts and bolts and stuff, and the two um, metal brackets that hold, I felt, I felt pretty certain that's for the front and back grill and tailgate. Um, and we also got the um, decals, but as I say, that's for a later date. So I've also just dug out, I have got, I did get the, I do have the original Subaru Brat manual. Um, I don't know if the screws have changed on the re re but um, yeah, I'll use the manual to see how it goes together. So um, yeah, a little bit of a, this will be a very quick video, but um, let's get this shell built up. Right, first stage is just to make the driver unit up. Um, obviously I'm not painting anything. Um, I'll, the steering wheel will just sit in there for now. Um, I was hoping we could um, just build it up, but the, the head is actually glued. So you get that little bracket that goes in and then you glue the head and then obviously screw the head onto this body. So I am just going to have to put a drop of glue in there to uh, for his head. But again, I would paint it like that anyway. Um, so let's get that little section built up. And that's that done. Very straightforward as you imagine. Again, as I said, I've not glued a steering wheel, it's wheeling because that's going to need painting. I'm going to get some excellent detail on that driver. So I think next up is to get this um, bumper off the tree and then that goes onto the front grill. And that's the grill made up. Dead simple. Two nuts um, sit into those little cups and then two longer small screws. Again, tons of detail you can get on this grill. Love it. These are a pleasure to paint. So that's the um, driver and the front done. Next up is to put the windscreen um, in the car. And then once the windscreen's in, then I can put the rear window in, which a driver attaches to. So let's get this in first. Now in order to do that, we um, have to take this off. So I'll go get the knife. And that's the rear on. Nice fit as well. Um, very nice fit actually. Again, loads of detail to get on there. Now, oops, that um, fastens with that bracket like that, which is cool. So the next up is to do the front grill. I've just pulled that off. Look, that's because it clips in. What have I done? I've pulled that out slightly. Haven't I? There you go. 
Right, that's better. I have to be careful with that. So yeah, let's um, put the front grill on next. And the front's on. Again with that bracket. Um, I've not got the best fit on there. That will need some adjustment when I come to paint it, but there's no point messing around getting any cock on just yet. Um, although it does look pretty good. So, um, one thing left to do, which is a roll bar. So let's get that on. And that's the body shell done. A little bit more involved. A bit more work than I expected, actually. Um, as I say, there's a big gap here, which I'll have to get rid of when I yeah, come to paint it. But, um, yeah, very, very cool. A real classic body shell, isn't it? Some weight in it as well. Don't realise. And then obviously paint and decals to go on it. It's going to be quite a heavy car. Anyway, let's get it on the chassis. Look at that thing. That's the 80s right there for me. Dead serious. That is that is awesome. That looks so cool even though it's not even painted. What a thing. Look at that. Oh wow. Super, super cool. Very, very happy. With its rubbish fitment, oh that look! I'll uh, I'll sort that out when we come to run it. Um, but from memory, that's how they were. I picked it up. Oh, steering wheel's just falling off. I mean, that's how you used to lug them around. Oh, that is so so cool. What a piece of Tammy history that is. Sorry, I know I'm uh, I'm going on a little bit about it, but. Um, it's been a long time since I've had a brat. A very long time. And she's done. What a thing. What a thing. I love it. I do love it. Um, and I'm in no hurry to paint it either. Um, God, it's... I know I'm repeating myself, but it just takes me right back to... What do we call it? The golden era of RC. Which it certainly was. Just... Yeah, it's just, it's such a classic. It's so, so cool. And very cool to have an original as well. Um, no differential. <laughs> it's not going to run the best at all, I know. But um, nevertheless, it's you've got to have one, haven't you? Um, I don't know if you remember when I did the chassis restore, but the nylon cups, I found something out for the first time. The um, nylon cups on the gearbox um, don't take bearings on the Subaru Brat, um, whereas normally you take the nylon out and then there's a bush that comes out and you can put a bearing in. Um, the Subaru Brat didn't have that option, um, so these are very worn. So I was looking at getting like a set from a frog, because the re parts are fine, so I could put two bearings in. But a um, friend of mine on Instagram, big shout out to Ian, contacted me said he's got a brand new pair of Subaru Brat ones never used um, so they're not as good as putting bearings in I get it but um, because that chassis is original I just thought we'll get those so they're on the way to me from the UK and um, when they get here we'll change those over and it'll um, stiffen that um, drive gear up and uh, yeah I just think it's cool it just keeps it totally original anyway I don't know how long this video has gone on it was only supposed to be a short one so I'll end it here um, as I say, next up for this, no idea. It's either going to be red box art with box art decals, or it's going to go white with the exactly same Subaru Brat decals, but the like the stripes will be in the Tamiya Legends colours, so Tamiya colour, so it'll be red and blue, and there'll be a Tamiya Legends logo here, big logo on the bonnet. I think it'll look really cool, but um, you only get one crack at these, don't you? So it might want to go box art. Although I don't like the red colour on the Subaru Brat. If you see a Subaru, if you see a Brat done in white with box art decals, it looks superb. It looks way better than the red one. <laughs> anyway, I'll shut up. So once again, guys, thanks so much for watching. It's really appreciated. If you are new to this channel and you like what you see, you could please consider liking and subscribing to support us. And if you do that, smash that notification bell for our weekly videos. And as always, guys, happy seeing.